Yeah, boy! Today we got the new Super Mario Deluxe Cloud playset and a Toad. Let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Hey howdy hey partners, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. We're on our way to 100,000 subs this year, but I'm really excited for this. Super Mario. We have the Deluxe Cloud playset and Toad. I'm really bummed though because I'm looking for Yoshi. I have not found him yet because I need a 4 inch Yoshi. I have like a 2.5 inch. I need a 4 inch Yoshi. Well, let's get into it. First, let's open Toad. Then we'll get into the epic Deluxe Cloud playset. I love the Mario there, Super Mario logo. Here's Toad. I wanted the original Red Toad because that's how it was in the video game that I remember growing up as a kid. And we have a star, which is awesome. It says Toad. I really like the Mario uh, video game packaging right there with the mushroom and the question block. And here it just says Toad. And it has all the other figures in this wave. I'm really looking for this Yoshi. I really want this one. I think my uh, Cloud Deluxe playset comes with this already, so I have to buy it. Got Toad. I needed that one. And I want to find this Piranha Plant because it just looks so classic to Super Mario. So I really love this. Uh, wave is toad he's awesome he's so cool and i really like his accessory it is a star with eyes and the only thing is i wish it could like have a peg or something to stand because the accessory doesn't stand but it's still really cool hey i could spin it that's pretty fun toad is awesome i've been looking for the one with the red dots on the hat og toad it's kind of hollow i mean i admit it's a little bit uh light feeling it's not really heavy duty here on the bottom says made in china all rights reserved and some random codes on it jack specific did great on this i really like it a lot i think it's cool that his head is able to turn like this 360 and he has little arm articulation nothing at the elbow joint but he looks excited <laughs> nothing with the legs at all so he doesn't really uh twist at the feet or anything it's kind of like a statue on that part but it's a really good toad. They did a good job with the vest. I don't know about that code, but you know, manufacturing, they got to do stuff like that. But this is a really good toad. It's really great. And that's what I really wanted when collecting these from Jack Specific, starting my Mario collection. Just get something that looks like it jumped out of the screen uh, from my favorite video game growing up. Now let's get into the Deluxe Cloud playset. When I first saw this at Target, it was 30 bucks and I was like, Ugh, it's a little pricey. But I want a display backdrop that I can put all my Jack's figures on. I had to get some kind of playset, so when I saw this one, it was kind of like my favorite one because it just reminds me of a throwback of Super Mario, and I like that it has the coin blocks and the lift. It even comes with a little propeller Mario, so I thought that was really cool. There's other cool sets you can buy, um, but I just wanted something to scale well with my 4-inch figures, and these are all fun playsets. The Bowser Castle is really cool, but it's just really massive, and I'm not trying to get like a bunch of stuff in my office because I'm already pretty <laughs> full on toys, but I think this is pretty epic. Love the top of the box, it says Super Mario OG logo. If you need the barcode information, there it is. And let's get it out of the box. I tried to copy the box art as much as possible to position this. One thing though, I saw Luigi was jumping back there. It looks like this is scaled for 2.5 inch figures because it came with a stand, but I noticed for Luigi, uh... <laughs> Number one, it doesn't really have a place to go and Luigi doesn't like it. That hurts! Don't do that uh, today I grew up. This is probably meant for a 2.5 inch figure because I tried it. There's no point. I'll keep this stand though. But I plan to put my 4 inch figures on this playset even though I know it's probably meant for 2.5 inch figures. Now what's really cool about this is that there's a block here with a coin. So if I set it that way and then I press the bottom of the block, the coin pops up. Which is really cool. So I really like that there's an action feature there. So if we have Mario or Luigi punch the block from the bottom, the trigger button and the coin pops up. So I put Luigi there because I want to display him. But also this is like an elevator. So it comes down. Sorry, Luigi. And as you can see, it also swivels. So that's a pretty cool gimmick. And it just goes back up this way kind of like a little elevator and I can keep Luigi right there which is awesome. Down here it came with this little piranha plant which I'm really happy about and his head does turn side to side. There's a swivel there and then he does rotate 360 on the base and whoa that's cool I didn't know that. 
Here's to show you a closer look at that. Look at that chomping action. That is really nice detail as well. It's a really cool piranha plant. It's probably one of my favorite things about this playset is that you, I don't have to buy a piranha plant now because it came with one. That is a really cool accessory. Very nice job, Jack Specific. That is really cool. This is like a coin wheel, so you can spin it. Um, this block doesn't really do anything, but it is a nice visual effect. And it has a little weight here on the back, I noticed. So it looks like you're getting a lot of coins thrown at you when you hit the block, which is really nice. This cloud thing is pretty cool. It has a little platform. It is meant for a 2.5 inch figure. So my 2.5 inch Yoshi will fit on it. But for now, let me show you the action feature. So the cloud does swivel a little bit. It goes forward this way, goes back, goes all the way to the side this way, and it comes back forward this way. It is new, so it's kind of hard to do because I just opened the box. But for now, I'm going to copy the box art. It is loud too. It's a loud sound. I'm going to copy the box art and just leave it around there and put my Yoshi figure 2.5 inch on top of the cloud. Same concept here on the S cloud. It also can slide this way, can slide to the left, can go up that way. So there's a lot of versatility uh, with the platform. I like that it swivels as well. And then it goes all the way up the track as well. So that is really cool. It's like a little elevator cloud, which is cool and true to Super Mario. So I kind of like that a lot. Last but not least, we have Propeller Mario. <laughs> it's cool because you can just kind of like, it's kind of a springy action kind of thing. I just clipped him on there, which is really nice. I really like the details of this figure. And then he has a propeller on the top of his head that can spin. We'll take him out and get a closer look. But I like this. It has a spring action right there. Propeller Mario. He has a 2.5 inch scale, I just noticed. I did see the 4 inch version of this at uh, Target. So I may pick it up now because I really like uh, to scale it to match the rest of my figures here. So I'm, I am planning to collect the 4 inch line. So it would make sense to get the 4 inch version of this Propeller Mario. But I do like the small one too. He, he looks smaller because he's high in the air, so maybe I'll just keep it. Let me know in the comments below. Should I get the 4-inch uh, Propeller Mario or just keep this one? Either way, it's a really cool Mario, and I like it. He doesn't really have articulation or anything, but his arms do rotate 360 this way. And no other articulation. His head has limited, and then the propeller does go around. So it's a pretty cool Propeller Mario. I still like it. The fun part about it is it just clips here on his body under his arms around there and he'll stay on there pretty cool hey today i grew up uh, don't stick that anywhere where the sun don't shine okay don't worry i won't i don't even know what this is for mamma mia after thinking about it i decided to put toad up here i think it looks really cool there here's the piranha plant i did add this block and this mushroom that i had from accessories from other jacks figures I have my 2.5 Yoshi. I do want to get upscale it to the 4 inch to match the rest of the 4 inch figures. Here's 4 inch Luigi, 4 inch Mario, and little propeller Mario. And I had this uh, extra accessories as well from other jacks. And the star actually fit right here on the groove. So that's pretty cool. I just really wanted a cool display for my Super Mario figures that I've been collecting from Jack Specific. And adding this toad was really cool. So go to your local targets. Maybe you'll get lucky and get this toad. He's out right now as the date of this video and hopefully you can find the other figures. I've been seeing Luigi pop up a lot more. I got the Mario. He was my first one that I ever got. I uh, actually got it last year. And uh, yeah, and Propellum Mario is a cool addition as well. So wish me luck. I'm going to try to find uh, Yoshi, and then I should be happy. I do want to get a Bowser to scale with these guys and a Peach eventually. But for now, this is my Super Mario collection and diorama display, and I really, really love it. And I like that Jack Specific released this because now I have an awesome diorama for my Super Mario figures. I decided to put the Mario display in my shelf as I'm building this Jack Specific collection. I thought it was appropriate to put it underneath the Sonic the Hedgehog shelf. And now we have Super Mario shelf. I do have more Jurassic Park toys that I want to put here, but I'm just going to put the Mario one for now. because I feel like it just looks really cool here. So I did some more arrangements and I don't know, I'm just really happy with this display so far. I just need to add a bigger Yoshi, a Bowser, and a princess, I think. Let me know in the comment section below, what other figures do I need to add to this diorama display? What should I add? Let me know in the comment section below, what is your favorite Super Mario figure if you collect these from Jack Specific? Do you have this playset? What do you hope to collect? 
and I just I'm really having a lot of fun with these Jack specific toys and as always partners thank you so much for watching and liking and commenting on these videos it really helps the YouTube algorithm if you want to help support me and get to 100,000 subs this year all you got to do is hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell see you later for your future videos on this channel and I'll see you partners on the next video review <laughs>